Hi guys! Are you looking to set up analog civilian cameras with Ethernet connectivity for seamless monitoring? Today in this comprehensive step-by-step -step guide, I will walk you through the entire process, from selecting the right equipment to configuring remote assets. And by the end of this video, you will have a fully functional analog camera system with Ethernet cable ready to enhance your security. You can also visit our website now to explore cutting-edge solutions tailored to your needs. Our experts are here to guide you through the process, from in-depth consultation to seamless installations. So in today's rapidly evolving digital age, where advanced technologies dominate the landscape, Analog civilian systems continue to hold significance for various applications. This system, rooted in traditional methods, has stood the test of time and are still widely used across the globe for their reliability and simplicity. They offer a practical and cost-effective solution for both residential and commercial purpose. Next, I'm going to guide you through a step-by-step -step installation process, demonstrating how to set up analog camera using Ethernet cable. So now let's walk through the components that we need and some installation tips. We'll need an analog camera. This is the core of your civilian system, capturing the video footage. Ethernet cable, used for data transmission, and should ensure they're of sufficient length. A passive video balance, allowing for the transmission of data over a UTP cable, like the Cat5B or Cat6, and enable user to simplify their installation and reduce costs. Power supply, provide electrical power to the camera and the DVR. Choose appropriate voltage and current rating. A monitor for reviewing the camera's feed and ensure the capability with your camera. A digital video recorder. You can record and store the video footage. And when you do the installation, ensure the safety is paramount to avoid accidents and injuries. Firstly, you should turn off the power supply before handling any electrical components to prevent electric shock and secure all the cable properly to prevent tripping hazard. Read the manual thoroughly for both the camera and any power tools that you are using to understand their proper usage and safety guidelines. Selecting the right analog camera for your civilian needs is a crucial step in ensuring effective security coverage. To make an informed decision, consider factors such as resolution, which determine the clarity of footage, lens types and focal length, choose a lens that suits your monitoring area, ensuring it captures the desired field of view. Low light performance is essential for areas with limited illumination. Cameras with infrared IR capability provide clear images even in darkness. Weather resistance and durability are vital for outdoor installation, ensuring the cameras can withstand varying weather conditions. So here we have two cameras. This is our 4K Mini Doom 4mm fixed lens camera. And over here we have our 4K 2.8 to 12 millimeters motorized zoom lens camera. And they're all dome shaped. This is the mini dome and this one is a slightly bigger. And they're all 4K resolution and IP66 waterproof rated. And they're equipped with person detection and IR infrared capabilities. So now we're in front of the demonstration board and I'm going to connect to this 4K 2.8 to 12 millimeters motorized zoom lens bullet camera. And here we have a 200 meters ethernet cable. This is a cat 5 e ethernet cable. We have the digital video recorder and the monitor on this side. Now our ethernet cable like a cat 5 e or a cat 6 can ensure stable data transmission, enabling high quality video streaming and efficient communication between the camera and the recording device, leading to a seamless civilian experience. And in an analog camera installation, a passive video balloon is a valuable tool that can facilitate the transmission of video signal over long distances using Ethernet cable. 
possible. It can convert the analog video signal into digital format and allowing it to be transmitted effectively over a Cat5e -E or Cat6 cable. Video bailing are particularly useful in a situation where the camera is located far from the recording device and they enhance the signal quality, reduce interference and provide a cost-effective solution for extending the reach of your analog civilian system. So now let's do the connection together. We have a monitor already connected to our digital video recorder and on this side we're going to set up our ethernet cable. Within the ethernet cable we have four twisted pair of the wire but now I have only left one pair out so we can connect to a baling. It doesn't really matter which color but all you need to do is pair up with that side. So I'm going to show you now we have positive and negative. I'm going to put the orange wire to positive and the blue one to negative. Just press it down and stick the wire in here all the way. It's already connected. And now I'm going to use it to connect with our digital video recorder. All you need to do is pluck and twist. It's pretty simple. Coming over this side, we are going to do exact same thing. We have the orange wire and the blue one. Remember, orange one is on the positive hole. Let's plug it in here. Just like this and connect it with our bullet camera. So within a minute, you see our video footage is already displaying on the monitor. I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is a live video. So the whole connection is done. So now let's talk about some additional tips. You should clean your camera lenses, check for loose connection, and ensure all components are functioning correctly. Be mindful of reflective surfaces and direct sunlight, as glare can distort images. Also, ensure that there are no obstruction like trees, branches, or sign blocking the camera's view. Mount your camera at optimal height, typically around 8 to 10 feet above the ground, and tilt the camera slightly downward for a better view of faces and activities. And if you're interested on how to set up multiple analog cameras with Ethernet cable, here's a video you can watch. And that's all for today. Thank you very much for joining us and I'll see you in the next video.